not it's not ideal. <laughs> it is not ideal. So we got Slothbockers is basically a version, let's say, of Jack Vultures. There's a few players that are in Jack Vultures. It's like a it's it's basically a new team though. Um they've basically taken the spot for Jack Vultures so that the, the league runs smoothly. So let's see what they can do. They have a multitude of short swords, so there's a lot less pole axes on the attacking team. The defenders have got five. Obviously, with the rune, no runes being allowed and uh, Polax not having the CC immunity rune anymore anyway, Polax is probably going to be getting used a lot less than it has been. Um, Units-wise, there's a decent amount of cavalry for both teams. I'd say the attackers have a little bit more. The defenders have quite a few... They've got quite a few javelins up and they've got quite a few reapers. I wouldn't be surprised if Rose here actually defend walls and you may be thinking why are the banners not up like they always are that is because i literally didn't have time to get the banners finished for sloth blockers and so instead of just having one banner up on the one side um i do you know what toggle rose red right we'll at least have rose on the one side so you can see which side rose is I apologies to header and his team sloth blockers banner will be finished for next week i'll literally do it tomorrow as soon as i fucking finished right let's see what See what we can get done here. Again, apologies, guys, for the uh, come on for the very crappy start. It's not exactly ideal, but sometimes internet problems or just technical issues in general are always bad. Right. So there's not going to be much going on at the beginning anyway. Obviously the defenders are getting as much artillery up as possible. I'm going to jump onto the CBR link straight away so I can see what the bands were. We are used Sloth Blockers versus Rose. Sloth Blockers banned Falconetes and Rose banned Shenjis. So there's going to be Cataphracts up, there's going to be Flames up. They've got everything up on the wall, you, uh, hero wise at least. They've got a decent setup on gate. What's that? Greyer garrison in the gateway, a Modao and Iron Reapers. I would have thought they'd have had Fort Brachio down there. Uh, defenders do have Fort Brachio. Oh, where do they have their Fort Brachio still? Then they've obviously got javelins, probably to try and get rid of some of the towers, maybe. Scrato just killed Moss Bell. There, did he do? Didn't even see where that happened. Statements over here. Is that maybe a cannon shot or a ballista or something? Must have been fatals over the back there. Bones. My mouse. Here he is. Is the deader. Look at him go. Glorious. <laughs> right. Rose looks like they've got a decent setup so far. Obviously they've just lost a hero. But that was just pure luck. Uh, units wise the attackers are always going to lose, lose a few units at the beginning. But it's mainly going to be trash. So they're not going to be that worried about it. We've got Fatal and Zex for the attackers playing Musket as well. No, they've got another guy as well. Zex, Fatal, and Statement are playing Musket. Okay, Fatal. I know him as Fatal, so I'm lazy and I can't be asked changing how I call him because he wrote something different in his name. But we all know I'm shit, so what are you going to do? Mushroom! What's the chances there's actually ladies, Mushroom? Uh, there are actually ladies that play this game and that watch it as well. So if any of you see Pixie or Tixie, I can't remember what her name is on the thing. She's that is a, a lady, and then there's a, a couple actually. I don't know if the other one. She used to be called Secretary at least. She was on EU two. She's moved to EU one as well. But I don't know if she actually watches. But there are actually a few a few ladies that play the game. So, I mean the likelihood's probably a lot smaller. Let's be fair, but there are definitely women that play the game. Right, let's see what's going on here. So the defenders have already got one set of flames out. They do have two more in the back lines. They've got some Zekalian as well, obviously Outriders. Purple Shields is good, man. The attackers must have flames as well. Two sets of flames as well. Okay. Barely any javelins. The defenders have got a lot of javelins. Zekalian, they've got two sets as well. So I'd say that the defenders actually have more CC in units, like with um, an extra set of flames, and I think they've got an extra Zekalian as well, don't they? No, the Zekalian's the same, but they've got what, an extra flame. Right, let's see how the attackers do this. They've obviously used zero trebs so far, because they haven't needed to. If the defenders defend very close to the wall, trebs won't be able to land anyway. 
the attackers are just taking their time. They've still got over 10 minutes to get the B point. This is where there'll be the actual first engagement, though, the first main engagement. Ooh, he needs to be careful he doesn't get grabbed by a mole. Yeah. How many moles do the... I say without runes, mole's probably actually one of the better classes to play. Because just getting free kills like that's always good. And mole does a lot of blunt damage as well. Right, so a lot of the defenders are in the gatehouse, so they can't get bombed and javelined, probably. The attackers have run straight off the wall. Kalian up on the top here are throwing to the supply as well, just to keep them occupied. I wonder if they're going to take this fight here, because they outnumber them so much. There goes another to Kalian. That's going to do a bit of damage. These need to be careful they don't get hit in the back, though, with the javelins. They're taking a big fight over here. They should win this. It depends what happens with the back lot now, though, because those javelins are going to do work behind them. Flop blockers are pushing hard forward, though. They've not turned... Oh, no, they've got a fort of Rakio in the back. Oh, they moved them just in time for the Iron Reapers to get that. That's a bad move. But they pushed these all the way back. Hero-wise, the defenders have only lost one, though. But they're getting completely pinched from both sides now. IPG walk from the defenders. Very, very nicely done with Modao coming in behind them to get some damage off. Now you've got Javelins coming in. You've got Cavalry coming in. Modao, is that Cataphracts or is that Armigas? Armigas, okay. The attackers have just dropped five heroes, though. They've lost a lot of units as well. I think what they should have done there was they should have had maybe a Shields and Fort Abraco was completely stationary here and then pushed forward. But unit-wise, it looks like they've actually maybe won. The Armigas are coming in now again, though. The IPGs are going to be able to do a little bit of work to them. But the attackers have just lost too many heroes, man. They're getting picked off. So on this side, the Shields are still holding fairly well, but they're getting pushed back enough. There's like two sets of Madawi by the look of it. Yeah. The attackers are getting picked off. They're obviously going to start filtering through now. And because the defenders couldn't really... Ooh, they can get them Fort Brachio here. Before... Ooh. He should have committed to that. He would have got rid of the whole unit. Bubbles, how are you doing, bud? Blue Banner's not on its custom battle. No, Blue Banner's only for normal sieges, basically. Like the normal bog standard, um, let's say, J matches, where you push the J and get in. Uh, that's that's blue. Unless you're playing ranked, then you can play whatever you want as well. So is going to have to be careful here. He's going to get ruined. Ball Mark, how are you doing, bud? And Papa Bear! Who is Rose playing against? They're playing against Sloth Blockers. Um, I didn't have time to get my the banner done for Sloth Blockers, so I haven't got one, fortunately. For next week, I'll have their banner sorted, though. I, just, I had internet problems today, so I couldn't get everything done. That's why I was extremely late uh, getting everything sorted as well, which is not good. And as soon as there's a break after this, I'll be posting the matches that I'm actually covering. Uh, like in the title, it just literally says CB Rivals, and that is it. <laughs> So uh, apologies for that, but like literally last second managed to get the internet up. And because I was just getting everything sorted, I didn't even think the right on uh, like on my phone saying, look, I've got a problem. All these flamers need to die. Fatals and Kisa Kisasai are on it. Headers there as well. Good, they got rid of them pretty quickly. They need to be careful though that the... Oh no, there's a couple alive. Rip Deader. Oh no. There he is, boys. But I think they got rid of the flames. That's worth it, I'd say. Flames are extremely important. They're making a pretty good push onto the end point here. They need to be careful behind, though. They've got Modao in the back. But Halberdier Sergeant? Halberdier Sergeants as well. They're pretty good to defend that. They need to see if they can... They're getting pinched, though, from multiple sides here. Keep an overview over here. IPG walk. Probably wasn't quite needed. Maybe should have gone around the end and IPG these behind. Flames coming in now as well from the attackers. Wait, what? If CB is where you're going to find a girlfriend, you might want to rethink your strategy. <laughs> Hater, I'll find my love in this game and I'll marry her and make 10 beautiful gamer children. <laughs> And found out it's a 50 year old 20 <laughs> bold guy at the altar. Love is blind. What if she only uses it? Oh, Bolmark. He had to go there, didn't he? Literally, longbow player. Just archers. <laughs> oh my god. So, the defenders have actually dropped loads of units. They're only on 282. The attackers have still got 600. 
So even though there's eight minutes left, and I would say most of the engagements have actually seemed to have gone the way of the defenders, I think they've lost. I honestly think they're going to struggle now. Because the, 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 the most important units so far have been shut down by the attackers. Um, they've got B. They're pushing. There's going to get a little fight on here. Yeah, the Outriders aren't going to be able to do much. I'm going to check quick how many hero deaths there have been. Maybe I'm misseeing that. No. The attackers have been winning. Interesting. I actually thought the way it was going that the um, defenders had been winning the fights, but apparently the attackers have. And they haven't used a single treb yet. They've still got 15. Obviously, they can start using it on this back corner here when they're pushing. They've still got seven and a half minutes. And they'll be able to see that they have a unit advantage. 191 for the defenders. Now they've got flames up. They've got village watchmen, grey hair, outriders, and a javelin unit. Um, they've they've lost. I'm calling it. They've lost. There's literally nothing that they can do. All the attackers have to do, they've got time. They can come down here with just heroes, right? See what units there are. All of their heroes jump on the flames, get rid of them. Next push, they win. Easy money. They can obviously treb as well. The attackers have basically got a full setup. And the defenders have got, what, one, two, three, four, six units, basically, that uh, are actually going to be able to do some work. This is going to be rough, man. I don't know if they're just going to be able to jump in and get on the flames now, though, with the Fort Brachio there that are going to be in V. Um, but this is going to be difficult for the defenders to hold this. It's going to be impossible, let's be honest. Rows are going to struggle getting this done now. The attackers cannot get overconfident though, can't get too cocky, they need to look how they can do this. Take their time, they've got enough time in the world, they can see they've got a massive, massive unit difference. Pick off heroes where they can, and then when they make the call just push in. I think this is a good shout as well, because most of it's in the back corner there, they can push in here, take control of the point. Block the back here with some Fort Abracchio, um, and then these guys have to come out the corner to, to, to basically contest the point. And here comes a big push now. They just put Village Watchman in the back here, or Pike Militia to slow them down. Looks like Pike Militia. There are Fort Abraki already set up in the back. I would have moved them slightly further back. We've got Madao back there as well, so that's all good. They're pushing in now from the main gate also. Good Treb coming in. The Flames need to die. Somebody from Sloth Blockers needs to be screaming, here are the Flames, and they need to jump on them. There we go, I think Shady's got them. I'm pretty sure Shady would have killed most of them there with that charge. Very nice flank. The defenders are hemorrhaging heroes, though. The attackers have completely pushed over the point. Completely pushed over the point. That's GG, I think. Very, very nice play from Sloth Blockers. This is their, if you like, first official game. So, the first phase at least is complete. We'll see how their defense goes. There's only three heroes left alive, four rows. There's, what, two muskets? The short sword's just spawn back in. The musket is, I think, trying to heal. He's trying to heal. I think they're not even going to bother getting on point because they know they can't win. They've got 51 units as well. Very well played. Prito! Or Prito or Pritos. Thank you for the follow, my guy. You can keep the cat. I trade uh, our last in for a dude that plays CB. Open to offers. <laughs> right, statement for the attackers. 3 0 113 units. Very nicely done. Shady as well. With that last charge as well, getting rid of the Sifir off and Absolutely amazing. You got basically the whole unit. Seven of eight. Killed. Very nicely done. 18 Modao as well. Very good play from that guy. Uh, the Deader should probably be down here, really. Everyone beneath here should quit the game. If you're getting beat by head, literally, you should quit the game. I played three games of him the other day, and every single time he was at the bottom. This was like uh, just normal siege as well. He's every time at the bottom. So he is literally a terrible player. Right, for the defending time, Kobaj Jekko, or a Kobaj Leko, sorry, with the MVP, 95 units killed, 326. Obviously, the defenders lost a lot more heroes than the attackers did. Um, still very good defense. I think I actually didn't even realize how much they were getting beat in the fight at first. The first push was fairly even. Then you can see that the defenders just absolutely got ruined on the next engagement. Like, the, the attackers barely lost anything in comparison. That was an extremely good engagement. That was, like, the, the main fight, if you like, on B. When they when the, the attackers started trickling back in and getting through the gate, they could just resupply. Um, because the, the initial fight was mainly units that died from... No, the heroes that was dying from the attackers, but the defenders had mostly heroes and no units. When they pushed back in, they could just absolutely throttle them. 
So very, very well done there.